is the childhood memories, watching him bring to life iconic characters like Mr Squiggle. If I was not climbing a tree or reading a book, I was in my father's studio watching him work. And it was interesting, you know, he was always either making a puppet or painting a backdrop um, or rehearsing a show. Generations of Aussie kids tuning in to watch the man from the moon since his rocket first touched down in 1959, still recognised by the show's fans as Miss Rebecca, decades after stepping into the spotlight as the last presenter. I would like to say I haven't changed a bit, but I have changed a bit. But um, but yeah, people still come up to me and have really fond memories of, of Mr Squiggle, of my time on Mr Squiggle, but just Mr Squiggle. Years of hard work going into bringing the treasured collection to the National Museum of Australia. Even the curators reminiscing while going through the selection. I know that when I first saw Bill's steam shovel from Mr Squiggle, it was a real moment of um, returning immediately to my childhood and remembering sitting in front of the television screen and um, enjoying that program so much as a child. Work now underway behind the scenes to research and document over 800 objects from costumes to sets. I imagine it will really capture the attention of, of Australian audiences. There's so much delight to be found in Mr Squiggle and his friends in the whole collection. Mr Squiggle and Rocket will be on display until mid-May, but fans will have to wait for the full exhibit to see the rest of the gang like Blackboard, Bill Steam Shovel and Gus the Snail. Bojong Win News. Sport is next with Jared Constable and JC. The return of a star forward came just at the right time for Lauderdale. Very much so, Bruce, and we'll hear from Sam Siggins after the break. And a talented cricketer will be back at Bunsen Arena this summer.